I have five right now. This is Princess Diana. Um, she is my number one ambassador that goes out with me everywhere for the rescue. Oh. And then I have Abby, and I have Lily, and Flower, and Olivia. They all are as different as night and day. Lily is no different than a dog. I've never seen anything like it. Um, she's extremely friendly. She never meets a stranger. She loves everybody. No matter who calls her, she comes running to them. Abby um, only likes my husband. Uh, Olivia is teeny tiny and she basically only likes me, which that's common. Skunks usually only bond to one or two people. And then Flower, he was my very first skunk and he rules the house. Everybody does what Flower says. Indiana Skunk Rescue started in 2018. I am the only skunk rescue in the United States that can help both domesticated and wild skunks. I'm also an Indiana licensed wildlife rehabilitator. Last year I helped over 200 wild skunks and about 80, if I remember correctly, domesticated skunks. Without me, I don't know what the wild skunks especially would do. And last year, I literally, I did, I cried. I mean, it was, it was really, really hard taking care of all these babies. But they're orphaned, they can't live on their own, and they have very few places to go to. And as a wildlife rehabilitator, we fill up really fast. They get them because they're tiny, they fit almost in your hand when you get them, and they're cute, and some of them will not use a litter box. Some of them, like I said, they only bond with one person. They're not really fond of the rest of the family members. Other people, like, they're only legal in approximately 17 states. So if you got transferred on your job and you moved to an illegal state, then you can't take the skunk with you. The number one question I get is, can they spray? And no, a domesticated skunk cannot spray. It is a federal offense to take one out of the wild. You have to purchase a pet skunk from a USDA licensed breeder. You have to register it with a DNR in Indiana. And they descent them before they sell them as pets. They eat a lot of vegetables, a very little bit of fruit because it contains so much sugar, like they could only have one blueberry, a little piece of a cantaloupe, half of a strawberry. I don't feed very much fruit at all. And high quality dog food, but again, not a lot. Any dairy product, they love eggs and they have to have taurine every day, so you can buy the powdered taurine to put on their food, and white meat. But in the wild, skunks are omnivores. They eat absolutely everything. Princess Diana and I, thank you for joining us tonight for a book nook, and thank you, Grateful Rescue.